Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I've got Twiglet up on ramps. Um, the uh, catalytic converter seems to have failed. Uh, I had a P420 code and then a 136 um, coming back from Antwerp. Um, I reset the code. Uh, it hasn't come back but there's quite a bit of rattling coming from under the car. There's no sign of anything loose. Uh, the car's also down on power uh, and uh, uh, eating more fuel. Uh, all the signs are that it's a new, basically the cat has uh, started to destroy itself. So uh, I've got the car up on ramps. This is where I keep Twiglet, by the way. Twiglet the Twingo. It's in a relatively sheltered area. Um, so I've got him up on ramps. Uh, um, there we go, so come up on ramps. Um, got all the tools, and also I've got a new catalytic converter and bracket and um, gasket as well. I'm going to reuse the um, uh, O2 sensors for now because I know the back one is relatively new, it's like a year, year and a half old. Uh, the front one, well, I'll have to, if I have to replace it, I have to replace it and see what happens. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get on with it. Um, let's uh, see whether we can uh, swap this cat out. Oh god, Jack wants to come and join me, don't you? Yes, 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 yes. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? What little one? Yeah, I need to get on with this. I need to get a cat out, not a dog. I need to get both out, actually. But anyway. Right, he's off. <laughs> All right, let's get on with this. <laughs> right, so getting that out shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, those are the two most difficult bolts there. Uh, so that one there and that one there. Um, I've also got to take off the O2 sensor there uh, and then further down here I've got the bracket uh, over there and the O2 sensor that's quite easy to get to. I put the O2 sensor in, oh, actually no I look back on it it's about two and a half years old, something like that and that's the one that was complaining the most. This cat mm, looks okay from the outside but I've got no idea how old it is. Um, so yeah, so I've put uh, plus gas all over it. Now if you've not used plus gas, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's far better than WD-40 at getting bolts off. Um, yeah, 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 he's watching me. Jack's watching me. Um, so I highly recommend this stuff. It's pretty good. Uh, far better. Far better than <laughs> uh, far better than WD forty. Yeah, I know. Look, look, here he comes. Look. What? What? You silly muck. Go on in. Go on in. Go. Let me get on with it. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to see whether those two bolts will move. Well, that was a pig and a half to get out. Oh wow. Um, I took the. Um, oxygen sensor out once I got it, got it out because it was a pig um, yeah I, I, I think that is a melty melty cat um, it's just fallen apart and then melted um, yeah. yeah yeah there's stuff still coming out uh, yeah that's a, that's a good diagnosis and I was correct um, so new cat going in um yeah now why would it fail like that um could be something else going wrong with the uh, engine uh, there could be other symptoms that are causing this um i think the actual cat just simply fell apart through old age it is an old an old unit um yeah um <laughs> yeah 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 it's not a great look when your bits of cat come out the back of your exhaust yeah um and that was rattling uh, when we got to, where did we get to? I think it was uh, Ghent. Was it Ghent? In, uh, yeah. 
when we were going to Antwerp. Um, was it Kent? Can't remember. It was definitely on the Calais side of um, the uh, uh, the Euro Tunnel uh, when it started to rattle. So yeah. Um, yeah, okay, well, that's the end of that one, so let's get the new one on. It's going to be a pain because the exhaust is down like that. It doesn't look too bad, the, the condition, uh, but trying to get it back up and level so I can actually mount the uh, uh, the new cat onto it is going to be a pig. Oh, God. Talking of pigs, I'm like a pig in heaven. I just love getting messy with cars. I just love doing it. Right, okay, let's get this new catalytic converter uh, in the car. Okay, so those two bolts are in. A uh, bit of a pig. One of them looked like it was about to cross thread, so I swapped it out for a spare one. Uh, that's now in with the new gasket. What I noticed was that the other uh, cat didn't have a gasket. So somebody had actually just bolted it straight up on there with no gasket on it and left it. So I don't know about that one. But anyway, right. Let's get down to the other end of the exhaust. Forgot to mention, I've just uh, put the O2 sensor back in the on the front of the cat. Uh, that was a hell of a lot easier than getting it out. Uh, so yeah, so let's move on to the back of the cat and uh, and connect up to the rest of the exhaust. Okay, so uh, I've managed to tighten it all up, and the exhaust is pretty much there. Uh, it's a bit of a pain because I said this is very close to that that uh, part of the bulk uh, the bulkhead here, and it has been rubbing uh, in the past. So uh, I need to try and think about what I'm going to do with that. Um, it is solid. Uh, I've absolutely nailed this right down, so it's not going to go anywhere. There doesn't seem to be any. There seems to be. If I zoom in over there, I'll try and get some light. I think that is a mount, but it doesn't seem to have any attachment to the car. So I don't know, I need to investigate further. Um, but yeah, the rest of the exhaust is, it needs replacing, but not right now. So that's it. I think we're going to start the car up and have a listen and see what happens. All right, let's uh, tidy up and try that. Right, seems to be okay. Sounds a bit chuffy. I don't know whether maybe I've got a, a leak or something, but I can't really see any leaks at all. Um, I can't feel them either, so I've actually been under. been under and it's I can't feel any leaks I can't smell any leaks it just sounds very hmm, different anyway the cat's warming up there's, there's no leaks at all from that end and there's no leaks at all from this end I've actually put my hand around there when it was um, uh, cool and I can, couldn't feel any exhaust gases at all so well, it let the cat warm up. There was a label on it which said you've got to let it run for um, uh, at least uh, a good time. I think it was like eight minutes or something like that. Continuous running. Um, and you can't put any uh, uh, exhaust paste on at this end because it will uh, invalidate the warranty because the exhaust paste will damage the cat. So, yeah, okay. Let's see how we get on with this. Twiggle it's back down on the ground. Uh, I've taken all the uh, uh, ramps out of the way. Um, there's no engine light, so if I go here, and you, if I turn turn on, I should sit out of gear. Yeah, engine light goes out. It sounds a bit throatier than it should do. Um, I might actually get uh, uh, a second opinion on this one or just let the uh, soot uh, um, build up there if I put my hand over the exhaust let's get them down here the 
there's not that much pressure building up. So, so there is a leak somewhere. There is a leak somewhere on this on the exhaust. Uh, I've tightened everything up. Um, I just don't think it's there is a bit of pressure, but not much. So, uh, yeah. I think we're done here. So, thanks for watching. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm a small channel, and I appreciate all the support I can get. Please remember to hit the like button as well. And uh, yeah, see you on the next video.